Okay, we're looking at this question where uh, we're going to choose three numbers, the whole numbers between 1 and 10, with replacement. So think about it as like there's a bag with uh, these 10 numbers sitting inside of it. We're going to pick out a ball, has a number on it, we'll record the number, we'll put the ball back in, mix it, pick out another one, and do this one more time until we have three numbers. We want to know the probability that at least one of the numbers we have picked is an even number. Now, to tackle this one, um, we could break down what this event is. Uh, at least one of the numbers is even means one of the numbers is even, or it could be that two numbers are even, or it could be that three numbers are even. And so I have to find a probability of each one of those separately. So this is a case where maybe using the complement rule might simplify our work for us. So if E is the event, that at least one is even when we look at its complement what does that mean? so if at least one is even the event E the complement, so everything that inside of E, so everything outside of it would be that none are even So the first ball, the second ball, and the third ball, all of these cannot be an even number. This probability is probably easier to find, so I can use my complement rule. Probability of E is 1 minus the probability of E complement. So if I can figure out this probability, I can find the probability of the event I'm interested in, uh, the event E. So I'm going to work on the probability of E complement, and we can use our counting principles to solve this. It's going to be the number of outcomes in E complement over the number of outcomes in the sample space. So remember we're selecting three balls, but the way we're selecting them is we're grabbing a ball and then we're replacing it. So how many ways do I have to pick the first ball? So I'm looking at my number of outcomes in the sample space. Well, I have 10 choices, the numbers from 1 to 10. And then the second ball, I have another 10 choices. And on the third ball, I have another 10 choices. Now, in order for uh, E to not occur, it means that uh, none of the balls are even. When I look at how I select the balls for the event E complement, well, I can only choose the numbers 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. So there's five choices there. So I have five ways to select the first, five ways to select the second, and five ways to select the third ball um, in order for E complement to be satisfied. So simplifying this, we see that you know all the fives are going to cancel each other out nicely with a 10. So I got 1 times 1 times 1 on top, 2 times 2 times 2 on the bottom, and that's 1 eighth. So the probability that none are even, the probability of E complement, is 1 out of 8. So the answer to my original question, using the complement, find the probability of E, is 1 minus the probability of E complement, or we got a 7 out of 8 chance of selecting a ball and having at least one of these being an even number.